I'm going to bring you a couple of videos today about the situation in London, namely the cameras, the signs and everything else that's going on with the upcoming expansion. Well, it turns out the recent target of all this is those mourning the passing of loved ones. How sick. I got sent an email today with a link in it to a news article which seems to suggest that the ULES scheme is now going to target mourners. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments. I got the day off today, got the day off today. Well, one airport run and that's me done actually, so almost a day off. Anyway, enough of that. Thank you very much for the support of the channel. As always, please continue to do what you do. We are growing great and I really appreciate your support and uh, encouragement with that. Well, let's go and have a look at the situation in London as we have been doing a lot lately. The High Court case ruled that he was acting lawfully with regard to the expansion and the plan. So naturally, we're seeing signs and cameras going up here, there and everywhere. I mean, I, I drove through Kingston upon Thames the other day, an area that's not in the ULES at the moment, and there's signs up saying that it is. So they're being put up lock, stock and barrel. Crazy, crazy stuff. Well, now I got sent an a email with a link to a news article which said, now Sadiq Khan is accused of targeting mourners as TfL ULES camera is erected facing the entrance to one of London's largest crematoriums. Yeah, it gets better. Sadiq Khan's controversial ULES scheme has been accused of targeting mourners after work began on a camera outside one of London's largest crematoriums. A new TfL camera understood to be for ULES enforcement is being installed just 160 yards from the entrance of the South Essex Crematorium near Upminster. Where Mr Khan's ULES expansion goes ahead on August the 29th, motorists whose cars don't comply with new emission standards will be forced to pay a £12.50 charge for every day they drive. The cemetery and crematorium is just three miles inside the M25, but serves a large area of East London and Essex. Now Essex, what the hell's that got to do with London? London Stansted, that's about the only thing it's got to do with London. It shouldn't even be called that. This is what I was talking about the other day, wasn't it? About the vast effect of other individuals and other concerns outside of the area this has an effect on. Now, dead people, I ask you. On Friday, the chapel hosted 10 crematoriums and two burials. It was 12 times £12.50. Hmm? With at least 200 people attending, one in the morning, almost all of them arriving in private cars. Well, that's another 200 times £12.50. That's a lot in the coffers of TfL, isn't it? That'll help Sadiq when he tries to bankrupt him next time. Uh, David Goodwin, who lives near the crematorium in Havering, said this is urgent. People are going to be forced to choose between paying their respects to a loved one and basic essentials like meals. They've put the camera there because they know a thousand people or more visit. There are barely any buses and the nearest station is miles away. they got your bang to rights. And, you know, you've got Sadiq going around showing off about a thousand electric buses driving around London. What utter bollocks? Where are they? Uh, I've been contacted by people who are worried about not being able to afford to visit loved ones. This will affect people's mental health. My mother, father, grandfather, two aunts and uncles are buried there, so I visit often. Lots of people in this area too. This is going to make things so much worse for people. Mr Godwin, 66, a retired currency trader who was elected to the local council last May, said if the expansion goes ahead, he'll be forced to move out of the area. He said, I'm at the end of the line with this. We've been to protest marches and they just aren't listening. No, they're not listening. There's an agenda. It's more than obvious. It doesn't make any sense to expand ULES up here. Air quality in ha Havering is excellent. It's equivalent to Padstow in Cornwall. Yet again, another example of another area where there's nothing wrong with the air quality, despite that guy telling us all to the contrary. Look at uh, the Brown Car Guy's uh, YouTube channel. He's gone round with an air quality tester. I wonder if he's gone round here, but that's absolutely disgusting. Can you imagine this damn camera pointed, at, you know, 
relatives being as they are, they could come from all corners of the country and they might not necessarily understand or know the rules that are in place. Fixed penalty notice, fixed penalty notice. Fi you go to TfL and say compassionate grounds, they'll do this and make you pay up. It's a disgrace. That camera needs knocking down. And I wonder whether there's a Blade Runner somewhere that might do just that. Do you live in the local area? Let me know what you think of this in any event. I'm disgusted. I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.